What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the quarantine system, give you guys an update on how the fish are doing, specifically the hippo tang. And uh, then we're gonna talk about Reggie the snowflake eel with the 300 gallon build. So let's go and get into it. All right, so let's go to talk about the quarantine system first. Now, if you haven't seen the video that I posted last month about why they're in quarantine, the whole reasons uh, for putting them in there, please check that out. I will put the link in the description below so all this makes sense to you. Now, I do want to mention that uh, all those fish went through a 14-day copper treatment with the cupramine, and uh, no one showed any signs of ick after that. Um, I, basically, the fish that I originally put in there, uh, besides the hippo tank, never showed ick or any issues in the first place. But because I did think that the hippo might have something going on, I didn't want to take any chances with the 300, so I just gave everybody the copper treatment. And then I went ahead, uh, because I don't like to extend my copper treatment longer than 14 days, I went ahead and then dropped everybody into hyposalinity, and they've been in there since then. Now, it's been about six weeks of hypo, and uh, I can say that everybody's doing pretty well, for the exception of my powder brown, who uh, didn't make it through the treatment. Uh, he's been doing good, but I did notice a little bit of aggression between him and the self and Tang. Now, the self and Tang and him have been buddies for almost two years now, and I didn't think there was going to be an issue, but the self and Tang beat the crap out of him just one night out of the blue. They were fine eating one day. I woke up the next day. He had cuts all over his side, uh, and he was dead on the uh, bottom of the tank. So the self and had his way with him. Um, sometime over the night and uh, he didn't make it through uh, quarantine so uh that's kind of weird because they've been buddies buddies for a while now and i guess maybe they just had an argument some domestic violence who knows uh but either way the powder brown is uh, no longer with us now moving back to the blue hippo tang real quick before we talk about reggie um basically my plan for her now is i'm going to go ahead and keep her in hypo for another week we're going to go ahead and uh, bring her up into 1.025 over about seven or eight days uh, worth of time slowly bring that up so it doesn't impact her or cause any more stress and then i'm going to go ahead and transition her to a 40 gallon breeder and let her finish her quarantine time in there uh, there's a little bit more swim room i can get her out in the light a little bit more uh, make her feel like uh, you know she has more room to kind of uh, do her thing but uh i don't know what to do other than this i went ahead and uh, gave her um, prazi pro she's been taking probiotics uh, she's obviously went through the copper treatment hypo um, she's got something going on with her sp swim bladder as you guys saw in the video she's just teeter-tottering in the water uh, she hasn't eaten in two and a half weeks i try to feed her every day if she doesn't eat i pull the food out i'm doing water changes every four days of at least 20 percent to give her clean water and um I, that's really all I can do at this point. I, I can't figure out what's going on with her. I don't know her exact age. I can't think it's old age. She's too small to be old age. Um, but something's going on, and um, all I'm going to do is continue my treatment, and she's not going to be touching the 300 gallon until she's 100% perfect or back to her original self that she was in the 125. All right, so let's go to move on to Reggie the Snowflake Eel. Now, he's been in the 300 for about a week or so, and, uh, yeah, he's doing good now that he's eating. Now, I say that because uh, he stopped eating about two weeks before I put him into the system, uh, giving him about three and a half weeks that he didn't eat anything, and I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, basically, I'd go ahead and offer him a silver side every day. He wouldn't eat it, so I'd just give it to the other eel in quarantine. So he's been happy. He's been eating every day. But uh, Reggie, for some reason, uh, just kind of... Uh, pulled his nose away and was like too good for it but I would literally take the fish and rub it on the side of his face and he would just like bat at it and then swim away so uh, he's just kind of put his nose up to that and I couldn't figure out what was going on I figured there was an internal thing or something going on but uh, I went ahead and picked up some krill the other day just to mix up the food for the quarantine system and I went ahead and threw a couple pieces in the 300 he immediately flew out of his rock started swimming around like a nut bag uh, trying to catch this food so uh, long story short, he just doesn't like silver sides anymore, and I uh, can't figure out why. So I will have to go to the grocery store uh, this week and pick up his usual scallops, shrimp, and uh, squid and do my whole homemade food for him again because obviously he's he's too good for that stuff. I guess because he's upgraded to a new home, he's just kind of upgraded his whole lifestyle, and a $10 bag of silver sides that lasts three months is just not good enough for him anymore. So uh, other than that, guys, everything is doing pretty good. Um, the 300 gallon is rock solid. I haven't uh, got any algae on the rock. Everything is good to go. My refugium, of course, is a little dirty. I did do my first water change of 55 gallons, and um, everything's growing macroalgae. Uh, everything's good with that. The skimmer did pull out skimmate for about a weekish or so. It's kind of stopped now because it's so low stocked in the tank. There's really nothing for it to pull out. But other than that, I'm changing my two filter socks out of the four every uh, every uh, three days or so, something like that. I will 
decide kind of uh, with stocking later on if I want to increase the amount of filter stocks or not. But um, they're coming out dirty, so there is you know still stuff in the water, but uh, it's good to go. Other than that, um, I will give you guys an update on the 300 soon. We've still got to do a lot of work on the 30 gallon, or at least i got to show you what I've done on the 30 gallon as well as the lighting and the canopy on the 30, 300 gallon. And, uh, of course, there's other projects going on that you guys will see. Either way, if you have any questions about the quarantine system, let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.